So, welcome back. Uh, another fly uh, with me, Jonas Andersson. So today we're going to focus on tying the golden doctor. Uh, another pattern. Uh, I'm working throughout all the doctor patterns I can find. So, so we're closing up to the end, but, but there's a few more. <laughs> I'm going to fill my, my, my fishing bullet with these uh, salmon flies for, for the fishing next year. So, yeah, let's begin. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, I'm going to use a GSP thread, a 12 o This one is from Vivas. The hook is a 3 o from Partridge. Uh, thick steel, you know, good, good stuff. I like it. So. So binding the thread backwards to the uh, barb. There we are. Then we should have a um, thin uh, gold uh, oval tinsel. In this case, I'm using a logger tone. So let me take a little bit out of that. So tying in the well tinsel properly. Don't want it to lose, get loose later. So a few wraps of this one. You're gonna go with maybe three, ah, the four, ah, three is good. Tying it in, securing it forward. Then we're gonna have yellow floss. I'm gonna tie this one in properly first towards the middle. I think the left reverse. forward there we are so just have a look I'm building up a little bit of foundation first yeah I think that's enough sufficient so Yellow floss. Time for the silk. Go in this forward first. I think I'm gonna use my gloves just to make sure I don't ruin the shine of the silk. So, monster gloves, yeah. Thank you. 
there the silk is in place so removing the gloves I'm just going to tie it in a little bit more towards the middle cutting the silk off moving backwards again now it's tail time so just building up a little bit of foundation for the tail and there we are So we need to find one appropriate for our purpose. one candidate let me have a look yeah why not be a little bit long but let's do it it's fishing fly yeah I spent I can spend an hour just choosing a tail for, for a, a, a frame, frame for the wall frame salmon fly then I use a lot of time spot on so I we need to have the feather on top of that so let me just wax the thread a little bit moving backwards so now we're in position. Just preparing the feather I'm gonna use. Cut on the leftovers on the side on the fluffy stuff.
secure it properly, tying it in. So, red full. Let me get into position. There we are. So, some red full, not too much. Little bit. for Dr. Flies. So, you need to have the golden oval tinsel. Actually, the whole fly should be with tinsel, but I'm gonna use golden silk. Uh, otherwise, uh, it, it's gonna reflect too much. So it's gonna be hard to see what I'm doing. So, and I think it's gonna be nice in there gold silk body as well. So I'm using Vanyage Oval size 16 for this one. Gold. Oval tinsel. So let me remove a little bit of it. Since I'm gonna use gold, I just gonna go with the gold silk underneath. So Gonna cut the, the piece. This one is four strands, so I'm gonna divide it. I just want two, not the four. And then we are waxing the thread. Hang in two strands of gold silk. This is just the one they're gonna have underneath the, the nice golden silk. So just building a body here, wrapping backwards, and then I go forward again. Nice. 
So going forward. And there we are, tying it in, securing it. Cutting the leftovers. So I'm just gonna go with the thread above it. So, so. <clears throat> yeah, looks okay. So, badger. Uh, amber cock hackle. So I'm gonna tie it in now actually. The second turn of the tinsel. So I'm gonna use this one. Natural mind colors un uncolored and dyed. So that's a noise. Find a nice one. Oh. That looks good. So removing everything soft. So I'm gonna do this all the way, so I'm gonna double the hackle. Just pulling it downwards. Bit. It's gonna be a little bit long fibers here, but yeah, doesn't matter. It's an unnamed cape, but who cares? It looks good. Wax the thread. I'm gonna take a light wax since we're gonna have gold on top of this just in case.
So just tying it in properly. We want it to stay in place when we tie, uh, tie it in so we don't accidentally lose the handkill. Okay, so now it's time for the golden Japanese silk that we used it so far. It's the same brand I'm using and everything else. So nothing strange. So that should be sufficient. Light wax on the thread. And here, so I don't need to make a new one. There we are. Tight wraps, securing it. Cutting the silk off. Once again, gloves. This is the first time I tie this pattern as well. Always funny. Oops, sorry. Winding backwards and then forward. And there's a hackle there that's gonna make me upset. Almost at the back. forward now.
just pushing the fibers away with the hack needle. Not the hack needle, but with the needle. There we are. So securing the thread. Removing the glove so I can work properly. Waxing the trend a little bit. So, time for the tinsel then. Same here, and those fibers. Insulin properly. And I'm gonna cut it. And now we take the hackle, the coke hackle, the amber one. It's a little bit long, but it's not, you know, it's not the brand, it's a Chinese one, I think, but it's going to be okay. It's not for a frame, so it's for fishing. Then uh, a bit long hackle is okay. More moment in the water, right? And then we have the body hackle. So I'm just going to tie it in, securing it. Working through those fibers. Leftovers there. Mixing in the thread again. The pattern mentioned J as front hackle. <coughs> Nothing wrong with that, but since I'm trying on a tree um, hook, I don't want to use my longer ones on a fishing fly. So I'm going to use something else. In this case, I'm going to use guinea foil. I think that one is okay. Thread is waxed, so I'm just attaching this one. Cutting the leftovers. And do an extra 
your breath there just to make sure it stays. Okay. So, pulling the fibers backwards while I'm wrapping the feather around. better so let's redo this they don't curl nicely that's why I don't like them and this one I like it's my Favorites. There. Light Capricani blue. You see, looks much nicer. We don't need much, just a few turns. So, tying this one in instead. Functioning heckle pilot. So, securing the heckle. And there we are. Cutting the leftovers. Back strand. And there we are. Part one Golden Doctor How to Make the Body. So that was uh, part one on how you do the, the, the body on the, the golden doctor salmon fly. I hope you're gonna enjoy this one. Uh, make, make sure to subscribe to my channel unless you haven't done that yet. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on part two. Me tying the wing and everything else on this uh, golden doctor salmon fly. Thank you for watching. See you later.